On today's video, we are going to be installing a carb water pump to match a carb poise that we have been installing onto this LS for the second gen Kamal. If you've been following the channel, you know we got a second gen Kamal that we've been converting into a split bumper. It was a 79 model and uh, we're going to LS swap it, which it had an LS in it once before, but we are going to do carb poise in it. We are going to be uh, putting on a car intake. So we need the car poise to match the intake and the car poise give us a little bit better look and fitment. So we went ahead and drilled this in a previous video. They are uh, videos on my channel of us uh, doing this mod here. You just drill it out and tap it. All the information is in that video. I link it in the description below. If you're looking to put car poise on your 5.3 or something, you need to tap this. So, when installing your water pump, you need to remove your old one. Well, the old one is held on with six bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it pulls straight off. But before you get that off, you need to remove your belt. And sometimes you might need to move your alternator bracket, just depending if you got room to work or not. You won't have a front fan, and you shouldn't need to remove your radiator. You, depending on your setup, you might, but you shouldn't need to. The truck water pumps does have a fan on it, and you need to remove that fan. It, the truck water pumps is a little bit more difficult, but pretty much the same setup, six bolts. Ain't changed, so you want to clean this. Right here off, I done got this in clean, but you can take a razor blade and scrape your old gasket off. You do not want to gouge it. Just take your little razor blade. And make sure it's nice and clean. If you're installing a new water pump, it will be also clean. If you're not installing a new water pump and you were using your old water pump, you need to do the same thing to the back side of the water pump and clean the gasket off of it. I highly recommend this style gasket over the paper ones. This is kind of an updated gasket for what like you find on Gen 4s and stuff. Highly recommend these. You can tell this is what was on this one by the O-wing mark here. Use these if you can get them. They're pretty cheap, so pick some up. As you can see, I went ahead and cleaned this surface up. This is the gasket. They go on one way, right here. You can't get them mixed up. You just want to make sure they were sealed. The O-wing goes around here. Now, a fast tip is you can put a little bit of silicone on these, and uh, it makes a good uh, extra protection to it. It uses an O-wing. It shouldn't need the silicone, but just a light coat never hurt anything. You don't have to. You can skip this step, step. It's not needed. Not with an O-wing, but with a thin coat, it never hurts anything. So we got the water pump done. Let's go ahead and put some dust around this. And try not to put none in the hole itself. If you do get some silicone in that hole, you need to clean it out. It can cause uh, fitment issues. It can cause you to crack or break the boat. Even crack the block if it gets enough silicone in it. So just a light coat and don't get it in none of your threads. If you look, we got a little bit of silicone in the threads. We just want to take something sticky now and get it out. Pretty simple to do. Just like so. And we are ready to install a pump. We can go ahead and set the gaskets on it. Back to the pump. An easy way to do this is take your new gasket, set it on. Just like so. I went ahead and changed the gloves, got the still come off. Start your bolts through, and sometimes this will help hold your bolt in there as you start this. And it keeps your gasket lined up, so. Just like so. It should be good. Now we've got the water pump ready, we can go ahead and set it up uh, just like so and hand start our bolt. Make sure your t uh, main top here, the smooth part, is up towards the top, which you can't install this. It go on one way. I mean, it won't bolt on if you put it upside down. So these bolts is 10 millimeters. Your engine may be different, but uh, these are 10. You want to make sure they start before you put it 
any kind of latch or anything on it because you don't want them cross-threaded. But you're in for a bad time if you cross-thread your water pump. Go ahead. I'm going to use the impact and I'm just going to line these up. Not all the way, just snug them. I'm going to do that in kind of a crisscross pattern. Then I'm going to torque them down to spec. I will put the torque spec in the video right here on the side of the screen. And I'm going to tighten this in a crisscross pattern. I think it looks pretty good. What What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, everything here you see was used. It came off of another car. The only thing this car did not come with, this bracket set up with the water pump and everything, was a power steering bracket. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to be installing one, and it will be an aftermarket one. So if you're looking to maybe piece together a car set up, and you need a power steering pump, and you need a bracket, well, we're going to show you the one we use and everything in the upcoming videos. So that's something to get subscribed if you're new, because, you know, it won't be probably a couple days before that video is uploaded because we're to the point we need a power stem pump <laughs> so i hope you found this water pump install video helpful if you did get subscribed if you're new and i see you next time thank you for watching and give ourselves a nice hand clap because we did a good job